Hey everybody, what's going on? So I just have um, some things here I want to show you guys uh, with Jugmeet Singh. Of course, he's uh, he seems like he's uh, on a self-embarrassment tour these days. And um, we'll have another look at a quick video that he's just put out here today talking about Pierre Paul Yev and how he's going to cut everything and all this, all this uh, other thing that all these other things that he just keeps kind of repeating over and over again. I think it was he repeated the fact that he's ripped up the agreement with Trudeau like 25 or 30 times and won't answer whether he'll call an election or not. So let's just see what he's got to do today to embarrass himself. Oops, sorry about that. Okay. If you walk around your communities, if you're at your local coffee shop, if you're at the grocery store, people will tell you that they are so frustrated with Justin Trudeau and the Liberals. They are done with the Liberals. So the choice in the next election is very important. What type of change do Canadians want? Do they want the change that conservatives propose to cut the things that you need, that Pierre Paul will cut your pension, cut your health care, make life even harder, take things from bad to worse, or the hope that New Democrats offer as change, the hope that we offer that we can actually build up a better country together, that united we can stop conservative cuts, that united we can actually take on the big corporate grocery stores that are ripping you off, we can actually stop them from exploiting people. Put in place better protections for Canadians. Better protections for Canadians. What do you think he means by that? Probably taxes, right? He's actually been on video saying that he's going to tax the rich at 80%. Now, before I go even further, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it does really help my channel. And also, please let me know what you're thinking in the comments section as I really appreciate the engagement as well. But back to uh, Jugmeet Singh, he's you know he keeps saying he's going to tax the rich at eighty percent, and the the rich to him means anyone who makes about four hundred grand or more. So all of these you know corporate uh, these greedy corporations that if you tax them they're just going to leave, and if they leave now he's only got us to tax. Now a lot of people don't seem to see the problem with that right like if if I made four hundred grand a year and this guy's coming at me for you know, 80%? Yeah, I'm, I'm moving to the States. Why would I do that? Why would anyone do that? Well, because, you know, the government's so trustworthy and we need to pay our fair share of taxes. There's nothing fair about 80% in taxes. Not to mention the government won't even show you a damn receipt as to where the money's being spent. I live here in Hamilton, Ontario. We pay taxes. If you've ever been to this city or if you live here, go down Barton Street and see how well they're spending the tax money. Barton Street's a nightmare in more ways than one. Crimes, are like, what are they doing? Like, they're not keeping people, violent criminals in jail. Like, what are they doing with their tax money? Oh, well, we built a new wing on a hospital once in a while. It's like, okay, good. But, like, you're getting way more money than that. Like, fix the roads. Put, like, you have a better judi uh, judicial system. Hire more cops if you got to do, do what you got to do. But you have all this money. There's been cyber attacks. We've been out, uh, we were out for, um, there was a bus strike for a week where no one could have buses. There's tent cities everywhere. It's it's a nightmare here. People don't even want to go outside, especially if you live near where I live in the center of Hamilton. People getting beaten and stabbed and shot. It, it happens all the time where I live. It sucks. It's like we're, we're just regressing. And Jugmeet Singh seems to want to keep that going, even though he seems to criticize Justin Trudeau all the time, which he has a fair point, right? People are tired of Justin Trudeau. But they're tired of him, too. And the other thing he was talking about was, you know, Pierre Polyev's going to cut the pension. He's going to destroy the health care. He's never talked about that. Yeah, of course he's going to make cuts. I said here on, on X, I, I responded to his post. I said, together we can stop conservative cuts, which when liberals spend unrespons un unresponsibly, cuts need to be made. Right? Like, if Trudeau is just going to throw money here and there and just be re really irresponsible with it, of course you have to cut these programs because it's destroying the country. And I don't, I don't know how more people don't see that, but hey. Uh, the, the other thing I wanted to uh, have, let, you, um, let you see here is there's a, I guess someone had a, a there was a leak in terms of the uh, Abacus data file that's going to come out tomorrow. And it looks like Jugmeet Singh's likability has taken a huge hit. Positive is in the green, negative is in the red. And as of September 12th, ever since, you know, when Jugmeet Singh has come out and ended the coalition and went after Pierre Polyev, and Pierre Polyev has just been just destroying him at every chance, people are seeing that Pierre Polyev is exposing him because his un uh, unlikability is up to 38%, which is as high as it's ever been.
the positive or the amount of people who feel positive about him are 29%, which again is one of the lowest it's ever been. So, you know, it seems like his, uh, his little tactic here of, uh, you know, ending a coalition and not actually doing anything about it isn't working well for him. And it shouldn't be because he's a fake. It was clearly a stunt. He's not actually going to do anything about it. And if he really wanted to, he would have done it last March when he was actually like neck and neck with Trudeau and actually had a, a chance for second place. Now it's very likely he stays in third or maybe even comes in fourth, which would be pretty hilarious. It's what they deserve. Right? The NDP has the same problem that the Green Party and the PPC party have. Your leaders are incredibly weak, incredibly weak, and they're fake and they're cowards, all of them. So it's either that or Justin Trudeau is also a fake and a coward and a globalist and elitist and all the, all the other bad things you want to say about him. And again, Pierre Polyev is not perfect. He's far from it. But, I mean, do, do, you, want, do you want someone who's at least fiscally responsible? I think we all want that. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And also, please, again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. And I'll be back shortly with a new one.